चाइनीज टेक्नोलॉजी कंपनी ऑनर ऑन संडे शोकेस एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल आई ट्रैकिंग ए आई फंक्शन दैट इनेबल्स यूजर्स टू रिमोटली ओपन एंड मूव देयर कार्स जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट देयर फोन स्क्रीन The tool is already available in China and the company is working to integrate it commercially overseas as the company globally launched its new Magic 6 Pro smartphone. So here we've got a simple fun project that we've created to look at the AI eye tracking technology on the phone and use that to control this car remotely. So the scenario that we've set up is to have the car start remotely drive forwards as if it was being driven out of a parking space stop then select reverse and then be put back into the car parking space or using your eye gaze on the phone so the real use for this technology is really to enable another way for users to interact with the phone so if you didn't want to touch the screen or for any reason let's say you've got dirty hands or whatever then by looking at the screen you can then interact with the phone in a new way The eye tracking AI function of the smartphone was used to control a car to start, drive, reverse and stop during a demonstration to the media on Sunday. So the so the phone itself is communicating with the vehicle control systems via a Wi-Fi link and then the onboard computers on the vehicle and then doing the se- sequence of functions in order to execute the motions that we require. Tech and telecom companies are releasing new products and features ahead of the annual Mobile World Congress MWC in Barcelona set to kick off Monday hoping the buzz around generative AI will boost business prospects Makers of smartphones hope the excitement around AI will help boost a sluggish market for smartphones Though many experts say generative AI may raise legal or ethical concerns. Honor on Sunday is also launching its new Magic Book Pro 16 laptop with an AI feature allowing users to move applications like messaging apps between devices for example from an Android smartphone to a Windows PC with a single drag.